Hey, how you doing? This is Jay with JRWeldy.net. Behind me, I have something very, very interesting. And uh, you're sitting here watching me on the monitor. So, let's put that ball, you may have already seen it. Damn it. Oh, a beast of a gimbal. Where I'm just really, really old and weak. It's a possibility that it could be either one. Ronin SC. I'm filming on a Osmo Plus with a shotgun mic. Even though I have a very good Pico Stream dual microphone wireless set. And I'm not doing a commercial for either one of these, but check that thing out. That is like one of the smallest mics in the world. If it isn't the smallest wireless mic in the world. It could very well be. And in comparison to the Osmo Plus, this is the world's heaviest gimbal. Um, bought both of these within the past two weeks. A Sony A7 Mark III and the Ronin SC. Uh, went out shooting yesterday with everything just kind of default and uh, uh, I was appalled by uh, my, my uh, cinematography skills with this set. Gimbal speeds are way too fast for the way that I shoot and uh, getting used to a legitimate real gimbal system as opposed to the entry level Osmo Plus, two entirely different things, you know. Definitely two entirely different things. So. Um, to give you a little background, the Ronin SC I purchased from B&H uh, Photography out of New York and it was free delivery. I'm in Delaware which literally is just just south of New York with a couple states in between. But um, Got here in one day. It was here before noon the next day so outstanding. It was an open box classified as used and um, Got a good deal on it because I got the pro, pro kit with it a little cheaper than what I would buy the SC for just by itself. Uh, the Sony A7 was also an open box from Best Buy. Uh, dropped a couple hundred bucks off of that. Um, so got a good deal on the whole kit I think in general. And uh, my Pico Gear wireless mic works really well with this camera with very little adjustment. So anyway, I went out to uh, our Smyrna Historic District yesterday and um, tried to do some shots, some shooting, and the camera is so crisp in comparison to anything else I have on the, on the shelf. Um, it, it uh, you know, just lays waste to, to the uh, cheaper stuff that I have. And um, the Ronin SC uh, is an extremely touchy fast gimbal system unless you turn the motors down and the smoothness adjusts the smoothness and everything so um, I got home and I played around with it with the um, the footage in Final Cut Pro slowed it down did, did some playing around with it but um, all in all I'm gonna need to go in and and kinda get an idea of the speed of the sensors and motors in this in this gimbal uh, to slow things down because I am not a uh, you know I'm old I'm not a fast style uh, running gun type of uh, um, filmmaker I'm just a very slow uh, panoramic um, you know jazzy music to the background and ambient shit going on um, so I, I need to slow that stuff down and I like to shoot under sling with the handle up top a lot of times going from a low elevation to a high elevation and I think the way I have my gimbals adjusted I really need to uh, play around with how I do that. I understand that there's the M button on the back here which is sport button mode and you can flip the camera and, and it keeps it right but uh, I don't think I got my gimbals uh, balanced correctly yet so I'm going to do that. Um, got the focus motor wheel on here which I may or may not use. I kind of do like just 
letting the camera do its autofocus thing, especially the way that I shoot. Um, I do uh, interviews with sales representatives, company um, leadership, that sort of thing, with the Pico screen, and the um, autofocus on it is just fine for that. Uh, to, to get real fancy in the field, maybe, you know, I like to go out and spend 25, 30 minutes someplace, uh, just, you know, click, video, couple moments, you know, couple minutes, and then turn it off, then go someplace else, a couple minutes, come home, put it all together into a collage, and play around with it. In comparison to the Osmo Plus, and maybe a lot of other gimbals, this is an extremely good feeling gimbal system, you know. Um, I'll go ahead and unlock all the gimbals, and we'll turn it on. Uh, See, that's already unlocked and we'll turn the camera on and we will turn the running SC on there we go so let's lock this in place and again in comparison to the uh, Osmo Plus this thing is heavy as hell. Um, great motors, very, very quiet. And something else I, I have, uh, I have three issues with my Osmo Plus, even though for the price and the entry level of that Osmo Plus, man, that, that's a great gimbal system uh, with a Zenmuse round camera on it, 4K video and photography. You know, you can really set that up quick. Um, okay, I have not three, I have four things that I, I have issues with with that gimbal. It is number one, that shotgun mic on it from Rode is about the only thing that shoots good audio with it. Um, if I plug in an external amplified microphone system, my audio is all over the place and I can't really get a... Um, uh, a, a standard point of reference to set my audio on with that camera. So shotgun mic is around what it, what it will do. Um, whereas the Pico gear with this works great. The other thing that I have a problem with with that uh, Plus is that I have to use a smartphone. Dealing with that and everything that's that's rigged up with it, maybe an extension pole and uh, all the other gear that I have with it and then that camera getting everything together working correctly knowing I'm actually recording right um, and pointing in the right direction is a pain in the ass. With this I've got the monitor right on the back of the camera you know so I can pop my Pico gear here on on the camera phone set, uh, holder and uh, actually pretty much be where I need to be to shoot and you know push the record button on here which is on the back of this. Um, huh. Am I not turned on on this camera? I've got a red light down here which means that the focus wheel isn't. There we go. Focus wheel is now attached. Um, so what was that, number two pet peeves with the Osmo? Um, just not easy to mount on a tripod, whereas you take this off, this tripod off, and you can mount a monopod if you had to. Um, the plus sides on it, you know, are that uh, it's an incredibly lightweight camera. Um, you know, if you want the Z-axis, you've got to buy that and put it on it, which I did. I literally have every accessory uh, made to, you know, known to man for that Osmo Plus. So, um, back to the SC. Really touchy. You need to dial in those uh, motors uh, to the way you want them. And um, quality of the camera is outstanding. So anyway, new kit, definitely stepped 
up the game, I think, between my Osmo Plus and now the uh, Renin SC. I'm looking forward to being able to do some interviews and sales videos in November because that's when we're really going to step up digital marketing with our uh, with the business I work for and I'm taking over a little bit more of that digital marketing. Um, looking forward to it. I think that's really a uh, cool rig, you know. Look at that. <laughs> Heavy. Uh, I'm going to get arms again. I haven't had guns for about 10 years. A um, couple side notes real quick is uh, I dig this shit. Uh, you know, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cameras. Um, stuff that I could not buy when I was a young adult. And probably wouldn't have anyway because, you know, when, when I was a young adult, let's be honest, there was film. And uh, I wouldn't have gone out and bought a high-end camera. Um, and I know that real photographers are just cringing at you know, my little video reviews on this stuff. I know $2,500 or $2,300 is not a high-end camera. Uh, but for a prosumer, you know, somebody who a, a, wants to be a little bit above uh, just the hobbyist level of using a cell phone to shoot on, uh, and that's, again, where it comes down to, uh, that's an expensive camera. For me, that's an expensive camera. But uh, when I was a young adult, you know, there was film, you go out and you build your dark room and the hobby of, you know, taking pictures and going home and developing uh, the film and, you know, printing it to paper and all of that. Uh, you know, that did, the chemical aspects of that did not appeal to me whatsoever. But the, the digital age with digital cameras, mirrorless cameras and um, video photography, Final Cut Pro, Affinity uh, Photo, you know, all of that technology just really does appeal to me a lot. And I'm like a 15-year-old with it. I, I really dig um, playing with this stuff. And if, um, if it pays me in a paycheck to do that in addition to my technology uh, uh, management uh, job, you know, it, more the better. It, it, it's a continuing income that I enjoy working with. So, um, again, I, I think I say this every video. I don't make money on my YouTube channel. Uh, the company I work for does not pay for any of this equipment. This is out of my pocket. And uh, I'm happy that it is because I bring it home and I play with it at the end of the day. So, um, this is a cool gimbal. If you've got some money, they are on eBay, they, they are on um, uh, Amazon Prime, and you can buy them used now uh, because there's these guys that, you know, are professional content creators on YouTube that buy this stuff or get them as a demo. They move on to the next best thing, whatever that may be, and put these up for sale or giveaways, and then somebody else sells them on eBay. Uh, this is a cool little unit. It does have the zoom wheel right here, which they call focus. Uh, it may just be set that way in the camera. But there is also a focus wheel with the pro version that I'm not going to put on this unit. And let's say, um, that's about it. A couple side personal notes. Uh, I've been trying to quit smoking. I've been smoking now for over 15 years and uh, my better half quit about three months ago and why why am I smoking so um, I'm probably incoherent making no sense whatsoever because my I, I've got this big nicotine headache going on right now um, so you know I've been a week I started Monday it's a Friday and by the way it's uh, November 15th and um, I'm just dealing with nicotine withdrawal, massive nicotine withdrawal because I was a pack-a-day smoker. Definitely sleeping better. I'm not hacking up a lung every five minutes. Um, 
Thanksgiving and Christmas coming up. I hope everyone has a very enjoyable holiday season, that it's safe, and that you can spend uh, th that time with your loved ones um, and family. So, um, you know, I hope, hope you all have a great holiday. Uh, thanks for watching. Please hit the like button. I don't make any money on anything. So hitting the like button definitely um, makes me feel wanted. And uh, love you all. Stay safe. I'm Jay with JRWeldy.net. This setup is two thumbs up.